Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Um, my sister left today. I'm really sad. <laughs> um, I found myself really kind of depressed before she was arriving because we don't have people that visit very often so we don't really have to tell people like we don't have a lot of money to do things and that you know we struggle so it just becomes like something that we deal with and that um that's it so i just guess i just kind of got nervous i should have been happy that she was coming but <laughs> i found myself getting really um i'm kind of sad that she was coming because I knew that I wouldn't be able to do what I used to do when I was younger in my 20s and she was little and I would, you know, be able to buy her stuff and take her places and spend time with her and, you know, basically do whatever, you know, she wanted to do. Um, we used to have these little cool parties where I'd go to the store and we'd buy whatever we wanted, um, like, you know, popcorn, chips, candy, um whatever and then we'd watch SNL together and then after SNL was over we'd turn on our V our camera and we'd record ourselves pretending to be SNL cast members and it was so much fun and you know we we just go places together and we would just have a lot of fun and then I balanced a checkbook and I realized that um we only had a hundred dollars left and had to last us for two weeks after bills and I wanted to take her to Illuminati's and um, places in, you know, Chicago. She was only going to be here for about three days. Um, basically about two days because she arrived late the first day. And, um, I just didn't know what to say. So I kind of had to message her and tell her the day before, you know, I wanted to do, I said, do you want to go downtown to Chicago? And she said, no, I just really want to hang out with the boys. So that made me kind of relief. So I was like, oh, we can just do something in the backyard, like have a barbecue, you know, hot dogs are cheap and stuff like that. And, um, I said, sorry, we we won't be able to do Luminati's because I just can't. And she's like, oh, no, it's okay. You know, if if you're fine with that, I would just like to treat you guys. And I really wanted her to try Luminati's because if you are from Chicago, you know Luminati's is like one of the best pizza places. Giordano's is not. So if you come visiting to Chicago, you think Giordano's is like amazing. Go to Luminati's or Oven Grinder Pizza, um, Vito and Nick's. That's not in, that's not downtown Chicago though. Like G Giordano's is not is not good. Um, so anyways, moving on from the pizza. So um, so she said that she would do that, and I was like, okay, that's cool. So her plane lands. surprise her because I was actually supposed to be <clears throat> sorry still have bronchitis supposed to be waiting in the car for her but I came inside so I could surprise her at the baggage claim so um hopefully I can like surprise her and she won't see me <laughs> so that's my goal <laughs> filming in an airport. There she is. She doesn't know I'm here. So after I found her, we got in the car and we needed to go to Walmart because 
I was out of shampoo and conditioner and body wash. I had been out for like two weeks. Doesn't mean I wasn't using anything to wash myself. But we didn't have a lot of money, so I was kind of putting myself last so that I could get other things that the kids needed. You know, like, you know, milk and stuff like that, or baby wipes or whatever. So I was kind of like, eh. But then when the day before she was arriving, I realized, you know, we only had my husband's in there and my kids and nothing for me. So I knew I had to go to Walmart because I didn't want my, you know, tell my sister, oh, hey, you know, I have nothing. Just use my husband's two-in-one shampoo and the kids' body wash or whatever, or my husband's body wash. So I wanted to get some girly stuff so that I at least could do that. So we get to Walmart, and I get the L'Oreal. It's like 294 Professionals or whatever, a bottle. And um, what else did I get? Um, some $2 body wash, like Tone is the brand. So I just wanted like 2467 it would have cost, which is no big deal. But then she's like, I want to take the kids to buy toys. <laughs> And the, toys, the kids were, like, so confused. Like, my husband actually walked away because she thought, he thought that we met were going to go in the toy section and she was going to pick some th couple things out for them. But she wanted them to kind of go, like, on a shopping spree of sorts. And my kids are not used to that. A lot of times we go to the store and my kids see something they want. I say, well, let me try to pitch the company first because I don't have extra money for that. So a lot of the toys that my kids have in the house, companies have sent in the mail. Nine times out of ten, if I can't get the company to work with me, I usually can't afford it. Um, that's the way it is. So my kids got to go in the store and get whatever they wanted. I mean, um, so, like, I think she spent about 100 on each of them, and they just didn't know what to do with themselves, you know. Who's going to help carry some of these toys in? Get to go on a shopping spree? <laughs> Ooh. Look at, look at this one. Can you hook it up together? Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. It's a police car. Yeah, I think you made a good decision with that one. Robolax. Oh, the different one down here. Break it open. Okay. Staying up late lately since he got out of school. Uh, Ooh, there's your police guy. They're definitely waiting for me. Yeah. yeah. You want to look in it? It's your birthday. It's for your birthday. Oh, that's, that's here for your birthday. That was my birthday. Whoa. Yeah. What do you say? Thank you. You've been really wanting that. Another imaginary bag because I couldn't find a bag to fit it. Uh oh. You got it. You got You got to grab it for me though. Oh whoa! I told her about this. <laughs> Uh-oh. There, there's a hint. There's a clue. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. Whoa. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yay. I got a little bit more stuff for you tomorrow, man. Uh, for your birthday. What's that? Kind of looks like yours, huh, bud? This is just stuff for both you guys. It's just like a little safari hunt thing where you can put the toys in the yard to find them. Ooh, we're gonna have fun with that. Bubbles. Bubbles. Yes. <laughs> what do you say? It's probably outside so it doesn't get stuck. Do you wanna give Angie a hug or a high five or anything? This bell? There we go. Oh, there we go. Let's do both. Let's do both. High five. Oh, there we go. And there. We got it. <laughs> I got it. Okay, well that's brothers, okay? I'll have to show you another video all the things they picked out and because um, they got a lot of stuff so they had a lot of fun and um, sh sh you know we saw that Toys R Us was closing when we left the airport it said um, 60 to 70 percent off after we had her plane had landed we picked her up we got in the car and Toys R Us was going to close in 10 minutes because we're like that would be so cool to go in there because if it's 60 to 70 percent off Toys R Us can be done very soon and um, her mother used to work at Toys R Us, and I used to spend a lot of time at Toys R Us when I was a kid. So it just kind of meant something to us, and so we kind of wanted to go, um, but they were closing in 10 minutes. 
So then we, you know, we just went to Walmart and they got some stuff and they didn't really see anything else they wanted. Um, and so she, she was just like, well, let's just, why don't we just get some more stuff at um, Toys R Us since they're closing, maybe they'll have some really good deals. So um, we wanted to do that like the last day she was here because the next day we're going to celebrate Henry's birthday. So, um, so like when they were at the store, it was kind of like their birthday presents because they're born two weeks apart. And then she had said she missed some Christmas and birthdays, so she was trying to make up for that. So that was really cool. And they had a lot of fun um, being able to just like pick out what they wanted without me saying. And they actually got some stuff that I've been saying no to for a while just because I, I just couldn't get it. So we get home and I don't have a lot of stuff in the fridge. I, my freezer was almost empty. My freezer downstairs was completely empty. And um, the freezer upstairs is like pretty small. You don't, can't really fit a lot in there the way they designed the, fr fr the, the refrigerator. So that's why we have the freezer downstairs, but it's been empty for a while. Um, we just have like a really big bag of ice in there and that's it. <laughs> and... Um, so she was like, well, if, um, you know, so basically she was like, if you don't mind, you know, I could take you to the grocery store so you could get some things. And, um, I was like, okay, you know, that would, you know, that would help because I just been really struggling. I don't know what to do. Like, do I just get another credit card for groceries? And this is getting really bad. And I was just like, maybe I should just go to the food pantry this month because it's just been a struggle. And Adam wanted to come, so Adam came with us, and Henry and Daddy stayed behind and played with the trains downstairs. And Adam was throwing so much stuff in the car, and she was just like, it's okay, don't worry about it, you know. And I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> and um, so we're going to be good for about two months between, you know, I got some meats and stuff from the deli. Adam got a whole bunch of stuff that him and his brother like, and so we're probably going to be good on groceries for about two months. So that was really like a big weight off my shoulders. And then she also asked if we'd be um, okay with taking a loan from her for getting new tires from our, for our car because um, they're wearing pretty thin. And we wanted to get new tires last month, but we went when our engine check light came on, right when we're about to get new tires or our tax return money, went to this place called Trust Auto in Whiting, Indiana, which is 10 minutes from Chicago. And... Um, he said that, you know, what needed to be done and that they were going to change these sensors. Um, so he gave us back our car. He went around the block. He, he, we went home. We, you know, we went home and, it, and the engine light was on by the time we got home. So we went back two days later. We said, the engine light's still on. He said, oh, maybe the sensors just need to be cleaned. He said, it'll be $86 to clean them. He's like, I don't know if that's going to make the problem go away, but that's what we can try. So my husband was quoted about $86 and I was there and I heard and then the total ended up being like $176. And um, we just had 200 exactly. <laughs> so we gave him all our money and the engine light seemed to be on and then they came back. <sighs> so it's been on for like two months. It just kept, it would just, the car would just stall at stop lines and turn off and we didn't know what else to do because it had already cost like almost $500 and the tires to get new tires we were quoted 440 from a different place and um, that was a really good deal so um, that took all our money and the guy at the car place was like you know what just take your time when you have it again get with me he wrote us a quote he signed it and it's like you know on our bulletin board and um, then my husband borrows um, one of those things you can check what's wrong with your car from a friend at his work and it says it's the sensors and um, they also said we needed something else that car place and um, forgive me I'm not very like car like I don't know all the the names of the stuff in the car or whatever it's like a gasket or um, I don't know I can copy and paste my husband's Yelp review um, in the descriptions so because you can see everything that happened so he said we needed this other part too, and he wanted $500 for it, $500. And we just were like, we don't have that. Like, I don't know if he just thought we looked, I even told him we don't have a lot of money. I don't understand what's going on, Ugh, whatever. And so um, we looked on Amazon. I said, let's, he's like, 
my husband's like, no, I just, I, I just can't. And my husband's Googling while he's saying this to him in the, in the waiting room. And he's like, it's online for like $40. The guy's like, well, if you can get it cheaper, we'll put it in for you, you know, and just char charge you labor or whatever. So my husband goes on Amazon and buys the part and he looked on YouTube how to do it and it was really easy so he did it himself. $500 the part cost him. I think between 40 or $60. It was like not 500. Um I think he said it was between 4 or 500. It was really ridiculous. So um after he borrowed the thing from his friend, he plugged it in. It was it was the sensors that say supposedly replaced. And um they did not replace them. Um, my husband took them out and they were corroded and they were definitely not a few weeks old. So they didn't replace them. They charged us saying they replaced them. Then we came back like idiots saying that they're not working and they cleaned them and charged us for cleaning. And then we paid the whatever left we had to do it. And then um, they never changed them. So they got almost $500 from us and they lied so I definitely don't recommend Trust Auto in Whiting, Indiana you can't trust them <laughs> you just can't and we looked up Google reviews after the fact and yeah no good <laughs> there's people with similar situations I don't know I don't know what else I'm, I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do yet about that I feel like I need to do something so I'll, I'll be figuring out who to contact and all that um, my uncle in California is a mechanic. I will be calling my grandmother to see like what I can do. Um, unfortunately my husband did sign the paper saying he saw the old part and he didn't see the old part. So there's really nothing we could do. I think he just kind of was tired and wasn't thinking and he didn't read what they wrote. And it had said like, you know, if you saw the parts and this and this and this, I don't know. So I feel like we're kind of screwed in that area, but they have definitely did not change the parts. So there's that. And then um, it took all our money for the tires. So my sister's like, well, why don't we, do, can I just lend you the money for the tires and then you can pay me back. So, uh, so my husband got the sensor parts from Amazon. I replaced them himself for $40. <laughs> I think it was like $42. He replaced the sensors. And then um, I think the lesson learned is that if there's some, we're going to get one of those things that check our car. And for now on, we're just going to try to do the work ourselves because I just feel like you can't trust anybody. And thanks to YouTube, there's pretty much a video for everything you need. So you can just type in, you know, Chevy Equinox is our car and we can figure out how to fix it. Thanks to people that make videos showing people what to do because that was such a headache. And um, so... My, our check engine lights off. Our car is running amazing. We're getting new tires um, probably like in a week and a half. Um, and um, yeah, my sister coming like totally made my very stressful life stress free, <laughs> at least for the moment. <laughs> so I'm really grateful for her. Um, it was just amazing having her visit. Um, I love her no matter whether or not she did anything for us. But the fact that um, she did do that, and it's just like, wow. <laughs> it just really, really helped. Um, ugh. So, my kids have food. I have food. Our car is fixed. And the boys got some fun new toys they've been wanting for probably a couple of years. And I didn't have to pitch a company and work hard to, you know, get that toy. Um, I always hate having to, I mean, I like working with companies when it comes to toys, but then at the same time I feel bad because I'm like, you can't open that, I have to make a video, we have to do a video first. You know, I feel like I kind of like ruined the moment of their excitement of them getting something, um, you know, without having to do something. Um, so it was kind of nice to see them get to like, open it. I kind of actually panicked inside as they were opening all these toys. Like I should be doing a video for all of this stuff. And I had to just kind of like calm myself down. Like, you know, no, this is okay. This is a gift. This, I don't have to like do a video. You don't have to stay up, you know, um, editing a video for their toys and, you know, hoping people like it and hoping people subscribe and hoping people comment. And 
um, hoping the company likes it. You know, I didn't have to do any of that. They just get to play with their toys, and that's it. Uh, Where are we, Henry? Toys are rust. Toys are rust. <laughs> Is Aunt Janet taking you to Toys are rust? Oh my gosh! Let's see. It's now seven, up to seventy percent off. Hopefully it's better, because the 10% off is pretty dull. This will be our last time at Toys R Us. stuff they're trying to sell. Compactor. Wow. I have for my train the security gate. <laughs> oh yeah. That'd be perfect. Oh, I see Mickey Mouse cars you are. Alright, let's go. Oh, let's yeah. go see if Snoopy's down there. We're on a mission. Snoopy, where are you? <gasps> There's one. That's an idea. We found a pirate Snoopy. We didn't find a big Snoopy. Yeah. She found one, but it's not what you saw on the YouTube. He saw a big Snoopy on YouTube. It's a baby one. It's better than nothing. Henry wanted this for Christmas, but I couldn't afford it. 65. Oh, still Yeah. It was 129, which is why I couldn't get it for him for Christmas. If he still wants it, we'll get it. Are you sure? Do you want the bunny or you want the tiger? I want the bunny. Okay, the bunny? okay. that's, yeah, rich. that's the bunny. way more affordable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Eddie's gonna be like, what? Well, let's let me turn this off and look at. Oh, oh yeah, hi Snoopy. That's really getting empty in here. Yeah, baby. Oh, the big Snoopy. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. 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 <laughs> Security is coming. They did it. You did it. Yeah. The kind of funny thing on the last place we were at, they have like a, a hiring point. Not hiring. Oh wow! Pride is that. Oh, <laughs> dang. Are there any left? On this way, Mom. There's nothing to look down there for. It's empty. Wow! It's a sex sign this way. Oh yeah, I see it. That's not the yeah. Cool. Wow. <laughs> uh oh, they got stuff for you, buddy. There's a whole bunch of Thomas stuff over there. Money. There we go, yeah. Really empty. I'm surprised Thomas is still here. Um, they do. Eh, eh. I don't know what it is, but yeah, get that. What's this? Thomas. I got that work. What? Cool. 70% off games? Wow. So, um, I know my sister watches my videos and I just want to say how grateful we were, are for you. And um, we can't wait to see you again, but not for you to buy anything for us. We want to um, hopefully be better off the next time you come visit and go to like Santa's Village or Six Flags or oh, what's the other place? Um, oh, Odyssey Fun World. <laughs> So, um, yeah, but, oh my God, 
I have been so stressed out. I actually wasn't even going to be able to see my best friend Megan in Indianapolis um, in like two weeks because of our car problems. And um, I was able to message her today and say, hey, we can meet you. We can't really do the hotel because we just can't really afford the hotel stay of like $100. But we can drive half. She's, we're going to drive halfway there and she's going to drive halfway. So that's going to be like an hour and a half. So we're not going to Indianapolis. I think we're going to like Lafayette. Indiana or something like that. I think that was what it was. Or Illinois. I'm not sure. Lafayette. Yeah, Lafayette, Indiana. Yeah, that's what it was. And then, so we're going to do that. Uh, I was really sad to see her go. Um, it just really sucked. Um, we didn't get to spend most of our childhood together. and But there's always been like this really strong bond with her. Um, this is weird. We were both talking about it. It's just, we just have this really strong connection. Um, and I'm just going to miss her until I get to see her when she comes back. So, yeah. Um, I stopped doing keto like a week ago. And I lost eight subscribers. And I'm just thankful for those of you that did stay. And, um, I'm not crying because of subscribers. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to miss my sister. Um. I was kind of bummed that I lost subscribers, but it's not something I would cry about, but I just can't believe she did that for us. I just, um, I was like, are you Ellen? <laughs> are you, are you Ellen? And then she told me that she has like a doctor's appointment when she gets back to California and she was like tired the whole time she was here and just from probably like jet lag and stuff. And I was like, you're not dying, are you? <laughs> you're not like doing all this stuff for us because you're dying. And she's like, no. And, so we kept, I just kept joking, like, I was like, you're Ellen. <laughs> She's like, I wish I was Ellen. She's like, if I had a million dollars, I would have, um, we would have, like, done something, like, traveled or something, or done something cool. So, um, yeah, um, I know you're watching this. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> thank you for coming, and thank you for everything you did. I love you. Bye. Yeah. Look at all this pollen, guys. Came over to the park by us. My sister leaves today. Boo. <laughs> so, kids are coming here to play at the park, and I just can't believe how much pollen is here. It's like insane. No wonder we've been so, like, I'm having, having a hard time breathing lately, but don't know if it's related. Whew. Wow, it looks like it's snowing. Do you see all that flying into the park? Wow. That is insane. Winter in July. Yeah, right? I think he's here. <laughs> <laughs> He's having pretty good. He's so small. Hopefully he's still there because he was giving up. He's like, where is she? This is taking too long. Oh, yeah, he's there. Ready for White Castle? Yeah. All, right. yeah. All right, let's go. And Janet's trying White Castle for the first time ever. And the cars are making her nervous.
Stop it, cars. They know I'm a Californian, so. <laughs>